Hi, this is Wes Fryer with Amy Sanders in Yarmouth, Maine, September 28, 2011. This is part three of our discussion of the exciting project Arab Spring. And I'd like to ask for the people out there who are not teachers or students, you've discussed how it's going to work for, the, for, for those participants. What kinds of participation, comments, feedback would you like to see from people who are just, you know, out in their community, whether they're in the United States or maybe specifically, you know, living in the Arab world? Well, I would really hope that as our students are sharing information that if there are any inaccuracies um, that students have um, added that those might be corrected through comments. And probably more importantly or equally importantly to me is that it would be wonderful if we could gain the perspectives of those who lived through the revolution and could add stories of things that they experienced, or if they were not living in a country that was undergoing revolutionary change, that they may talk about how the media covered those stories in their country. Um, but I think having as much firsthand accounts, experiences added um, through comments would be a really wonderful addition to our study and, and add a lot of value to our project. It's important for everyone, I guess, in this project to recognize there's a lot of private collaboration that will happen with students and teachers. And then on the public site, um, the students are going to share their work, and then those those comments will be moderated. Can you talk a little bit about how you've set the project up um, and, and how how you're preparing, hopefully, for, for participation from folks outside. Um, how's that going to work on a practical level in terms of outside input and, and comments? Um, our, we have a wiki set up, an Arab Spring wiki, um, to kind of sort of provide the framework for the project and the sort of the guidelines. We have a private blog set up that students, where students will be contributing their work, um, and once that work is complete, then we will be making that available through a public blog, and it is that public blog that we'll be inviting comments from outside contributors. So what else would you like to know besides someone sharing the story? Um, what, what kinds of things are going to help add context, I guess, for, for folks that are commenting if, in addition when they write a comment? How would you coach them, I guess? Uh, that's a great question. What we'd like for them to do is to add their first name and the country that they're um, blogging from, where they're posting from, um, and sharing any, um, you know, if they had traveled to a country where that was undergoing revolution, to just help our readers understand the context of their post. Okay. So we'd invite you to check out the wiki, which again is arabspring.wikispaces.com. Very exciting. Thank you for facilitating this project. There's a lot of exciting learning that's ahead, and I'm sure, given the timely nature of this, there's a, there's a lot of interest in a lot of places about the project. My travel to Egypt was part of um, the Harvard's, Harvard University's Center for Middle East Studies Outreach Center, and I want to acknowledge their great support in facilitating my study and travel to Egypt. Um, and I really hope that um, we will have outside contributors because I think uh, comment, people commenting from the region, from the Arab world, because I think it will make our um, students learning much richer in terms of having a perspective, those perspectives added to our study. Authentic audience and connection and bringing the real world in. So, Thank thanks. you, Wes. Thank you.